hello hi everyone welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you all according to your time and locations you'll be watching this video yes my dear viewers i am back again with another update so guys i have a video here how like we all to watch but before then if you're meeting my channel for the very first time you're highly welcome please kindly do all to like share and subscribe leave your thought on the comment section let us know what you think about this video and i will see you towards the end now we all know that INEC failed to open up their defense against peter obi's case yesterday because of the three witnesses they said they were going to present for labor party's case none of them showed up and so the case was adjourned till today and anyhow way be we'll be bringing you updates from court now they were able to open up their defense for pdp's case that is articles petition now peter will be neither they fear nine witnesses they fear and the witness they brought to testify against pdp obedience went and dug the background of that witness <laughs> Not the witness that testified against Labour Party, the one that testified against PDP. Obedience went again and dug his background and they finished him. You have seen why the witnesses are running away from testifying against Peter Obi. <laughs> the most annoying thing is that this man is a pastor. Dr. Lawrence Bayode, a pastor of Redeemed Christian Church of God was running his mouth in his interview about uh, transmitting results to IREV, Beavers, everything. But after the election, where they do wuru wuru finish, he can't go court, go testify. Say he doesn't mean now, he doesn't matter what is there. And he's also the ICT director of INEC. So he was at the middle of that wuru wuru. Listen to when he was running his mouth about electronic transmission. Watch the video. The back end okay so what is the scenario about uploading of results how does it play out here yeah it, it, we are also going to use the same result to to upload sorry this same device okay. to upload the um the result so after the the poll is over and the um ballot is sorted and counted and recorded on the from EC8A mm -hmm. and it's endorsed by the president also endorsed by all the polling uh, all sorry all the party agents uh, available on that day then what the president officer will do is to take the picture of that um, um, form of that result sheet from EC8A um, with this camera okay well, this camera. So the camera on the back the, the, of the device. Yes. That is that is a camera that you can also put on the voter's face. Yes. 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 So you use this camera to take the photo of the voter. You also use this camera to take the picture of the result. You have heard him. Uh -huh. That is the deputy director of ICT for INEC, Pastor Lawrence Bayode, RCCG pastor. And the Bible say, thou shalt not bear false witness. After running your mouth about electronic transition, this is the camera that will use to snap the beavers and upload. You refused to do just that. You didn't upload. Your commission went to the beavers and deleted all the results. Then you still have the F on tree to still come and stand in court and testify. Oh, this world does scatter. A hey, pastor. But no problem. Come and testify against Labour Party. Make you see what in your eye go see. How them leave your zoku go finish you for that court. Now, before I show you how Afeni Ferry again rejected INEC's declaration of Tinubu, let me show you this short and powerful interview of Labour Party's lead counsel, Livio Zoku. Um, we were really surprised and shocked because uh, having had the salary holiday, the weekends and all that, more than a week, more than a week. we thought that they would have been ready. Because on our part, we prepared so well that we were ready to embark on a demolition work. But that is their case. They came to court and said that um, they, was, well, they, they wanted to, you know, they have three, they proposed to have three witnesses today. The first one was unavailable due to domestic reasons. We were not told what happened to the other two. Therefore, they are asking adjournment for adjournment to tomorrow. We are ready to come here tomorrow, but I have a hunch 
that um, given the contradictions and inconsistencies and uh, what INEC has done, I'm sure that um, they are not ready to defend this case. I stand to be proved wrong. You heard that right. And regular followers of this channel will know that I have said many times that they can't defend this case. Now, only judiciary that I remain now to do the right thing. And we have all our eyes on them. Now, I keep saying it, that one of the most honest men in this country ever is the leader of Afeni Ferry, Pa Adebanjo. This man is so honest. And you know, Afeni Ferry is the biggest social cultural Yoruba group in the world. And ever since INEC declared Tinubu president, people have been trying to box the man into a corner to force him to say he accepts that declaration. But the man has stood his ground. Listen to how intake talk for this interview. You tell me whether to... That was just you said it's my primary ruler. If it's not that you're assault, is it not on the presidency that I'm disputing? Is it not on the fact that it's the president that I say, well, he has not been there on the condition provided by the constitution, which I'm still disputing? I can't recognize him in an office that I don't, that, 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 that I believe don't exist. Get that thing clear. So no, I don't, I don't follow the propaganda, the president, oh, you are done this, you are done that. They are mixing the issue. Don't forget, I'm not the lonely one saying, until this thing is done, finally like the court, then we know where we are going. If even the court decides, we can see express an opinion. But I don't want to say, oh, he has been doing well, he's not doing well. I bet him. It is true with that God made him the governor of the God say, I know his ability. I'm not commenting on his ability now. That's not the sign of Afen Ferry. The sign of Afen Ferry is that we want a free, fair, and credible election. It is that free, fair, and credible election that we are questioning. And the law provides that you are questioning it. Don't be violent. Go to this tribunal. It is that the we are in now. We are waiting for their decision. And you want me to comment on your office? I say, does it not exist for him? Uh, is he already doing well? Does that make him do and make me approved of the way he got there? Don't forget that I'm a lawyer. I can't approbate and reprobate. I say the man doesn't exist. It's not, it, it, by the way he got there, it's not right. It's questionable. It's condemnable by the old, by all responsible people in the whole world. All the EU and everybody, whether they accept it or not, that is the sign of a very sickness. You have heard him. You have seen how honest the man is. The man is not given to tribalism, always saying the truth and defending it. And so many Nigerians were so happy with how blunt the man was in this interview. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This one said, Pa Ayo Adebanjo has been constant as the Northern Star. He never quivers or shakes. Truth has been his weapon and his truth he has been using to destroy his enemies. Pa Ayo is a great man indeed. Mm. And this particular tweet said, Pa Adebanjo always coming through for all the responsible people in Nigeria, just like the Sierra Leone electoral officer. The irresponsible people can keep on gallivanting on illeg illegality. And this tweet said, I have said it several times that our problem is neither tribe nor ethnicity. It is just bad leaders. They just use tribe and ethnicity to deceive their gullible followers. Good men and women are found everywhere. Pa De Banjo has always earned my respect for standing against evil. And this tweet said, Thank God, when I see this man speak, I still have hope in this country. Man is not given to theatrics. And this one said, You are a great man, sir. The Lord will make your eyes to see the nation of your dreams and keep you in good health till the end of your time. Amen. Amen. Because this man, they too honest. 
stood with His Excellency Peter Obi and he has, has never shown weariness one day. He has always been steadfast in what he believes in. God will bless you, daddy. Now you be the real type of person. Where person go they call daddy with joy. Anyway, make I live her here. Today is another day at the tribunal. And of course, you know, His Excellency Peter Obi and his team of beautiful, excellent, magnificent, and extraordinarily hard-working lawyers will be there to devour anybody we go try bring any defense and anyhow it be we're going to bring you updates from courts